hi today we are going to see about the introduction to engineering drawings which is presented by sambhasan mar assistant professor megatronics department in sns college of technology our first topic is nothing but an orthographic views these views are two dimensional views of an object where the view point of the object is at right angles to surfaces they are used in technical and engineering drawings for an accuracy purpose if one's view point is not at right angles it is considered as four shortened view you can also think of these views as an object inside a box with its surfaces projecting onto the sides of the box you can then unfold the box to project the views on a flat surface traditionally the view contains dimensions as the given example in the below the views dimensions normally in expressed as in the front view width and height in top view width and depth inside the width and heights are represented the next one is the different types of lines so normally the different types of lines are continuous thick lines continuous thin lines continuous thin free hand continuous thin rule line with intermediate zigzag thin chain line medium dash lines and thin dash lines normally in object lines the object line displays the visible edges of an object the edges you would see looking at the object with your naked eyes these shown as dark and solid lines hidden lines normally used to say invisible edges inside an object the edges you not see looking at the object with your naked eyes these are showed in dashed lines in case of center lines displaces the center for in any cylindrical shape object whether it be in cylindrical or an hole they are shown as long line followed by a short line and then followed by a long line next topic is dimensional and their components and their nodes the dimensions tell how far it is from one point on an object to another point the most basic type is called a linear dimension as given in example because it gives the straight line dimensions from one point to another they are also radial diameter and angular dimensions normally the dimensions have four basic components first one is dimensional text second one is dimensional line and arrows third one is extension lines and the final one is cap important point is that the extension lines can cross over the object lines to reach their destination but it still gives a gap the examples for the different type of dimensions are in listed the below the cast iron for general use for steel bronze and brasses white metal leads and cross grain bed rocks liquids are expressed in the given picture the next one is scaling the scaling is used to decide objects on paper that are either larger or smaller than the paper the main points are if the object is larger than the paper the views of the object are should be scaled down if the object is smaller than the paper the views of the object are scaled up if the object fits on the paper the views are displayed at full shape that is normally 1 is to 1 ratio in mechanical drawings we generally use and decimal inch or metric scaling and the number on the left of the column indicates the unit on the pages the number on the right of the column indicates the units on the objects or the page normally which is an object you want to think of it like this when you see a dimensional in scale of 1 is to 2 1 unit on the page is equal to 2 units on the object or half of the scale thank you thank you for your patient listening thank you so much